Welcome to week three for the University of Illinois at Chicago's online class, Public Policy Advocacy for Social Change, as part of the Certificate in Nonprofit Management Program. I'm Tom Tresser, your friendly online instructor, and this week we are looking at the topic of strategy and tactics. Uh, you know, to a person with a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Ever hear that saying? Well, as social change champions, we don't want to have a limited vision of solutions, and we certainly don't want to use the wrong tools for our work, which is hard enough as it is. And this is most vitally so when we set out to map an advocacy strategy or agenda. We sometimes rush to do the stuff, to do things, uh, without careful consideration or strategic thinking as to what exactly we are aiming to accomplish. First, what is the target? Then, what's the best way to win? And then, what are the means and methods towards that victory? Those are your tools and tactics. In 2009, I was part of a group of Chicagoans who opposed the bid for the 2016 Olympics. It was a very unpopular stand, and our group, No Games Chicago, was given little recognition and we had virtually no resources. However, we made a key strategic decision, and that was to focus our resources and our efforts on the people who could give us what we wanted, which was No Games for Chicago 2016, and that target group was not the mayor, it was not the alderman, and it wasn't even the president of the United States. It was the members of the International Olympic Committee, the IOC themselves. We had to somehow persuade those 100 people of this super elite organization not to award the games to Chicago. In effect, we had to win an election where these 100 people were to be voting. This vote would take place in Copenhagen, Denmark on October 2nd, 2009. And so we focused our communications on them and on bringing them the information they would need in order to make a, uh, a decision uh, not favoring Chicago. In other words, we had to erode their confidence in Chicago as a host city. Now, a bold and effective tactic was to go to Lausanne, Switzerland, which uh, our team did in June of 2009 because the four finalist cities were meeting at the IOC's international headquarters in um, Lausanne, and all four cities were to be present to make their presentations, and so would the world press. No citizen delegation from a candidate city had ever gone to the IOC's headquarters to say, no thank you. Now, we brought along with us 100 copies of something we called the Book of Evidence. Now, this is a reprint of articles from local papers uh, documenting our corruption, our broke budget, our lack of uh, infrastructure. Here's, here's a good copy right here. <laughs> um, and most importantly, that the citizens of Chicago wanted other priorities other than uh, spending billions of dollars on a party seven years from now. We brought these books and had them delivered to the members of the IOC. We did other things as well as to, to communicate information to the members over the ensuing months, and our tactics worked. On October 2nd, 2009, at uh, Copenhagen, Denmark, the members of the IOC voted to eliminate Chicago for consideration on the first round of voting. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's the story that uh, I have to share with you, and we want all of your strategy to be as well thought out and developed, and all your tactics to be as effective. We'll see you online.